my big dream. Okay, hair situation is really messy. Oh gosh, we got a couple flyers again. The flyer situation has not changed since yesterday. My hair is all disheveled because we've been in the wind, but that's okay. Hey, my name is Diana Kingsford, Chief Big Dreamer of the internet, if we have not met. I have literally made it my business to help you achieve your big dreams. That's what I do. I go after my big dreams, I achieve said big dreams, and then I help you to achieve your big dreams as well because I learn all the lessons that I learn along the way and it's the most amazing journey in the world. Hey, 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 Christine. I'm so excited to have you here. Uh, by the way, I'm pretty sure you just got top fan or was it Wendy? I'm pretty sure. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, wow, hey, Wendy. Oh my gosh, I have got, so I just needed a topic of conversation for you guys today. And the topic of conversation is going to be about Messenger, how I sell through Messenger. And hint, hint, I don't sell, I serve. And I make it really low key and I don't make it forceful and I make it really low key and casual. And so people feel like, they want to jump in versus like resisting and being like, ah, oh, I want top fan badge. I know, right? Wendy, just, I think it's your day. I think today is your day. Today might be the day that it actually happens. Um, so I'm so excited for you. By the way, can I just say, Wendy Jasper has yesterday recorded a social media nutcracking review. So if you wanna check out the review that Wendy did, um, about social media nut cracking. It's amazing and I'm so proud of it. I'm so proud of her. She's come into the Big Dreamers community like a whirlwind and it's been just the most amazing thing because my Big Dreamers, they're like long term. It's OG. It's, it's, we all know each other and maybe it's just like this beautiful, it's like this beautiful enthusiasm that has really like inspired me to serve and serve and serve some more. The other thing, she just did a really cool testimonial, which by the way, my amazing executive assistant took it upon herself to go and create it into this beautiful picture. And I'm so proud and I'm so happy because Mind Reader is actually a part of her job description. <laughs> so Christina said, I totally get top fan badge. I'm killing Carly Marie, you're killing it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Carly Marie so wants <laughs> the badge. She's going to be here live, but you know, she's busy running a multiple six, well, six figure business um, from the work that we've done together. And because she's a badass, because I give her some things to do, she goes and does them. The next thing I look at my social media, it's done. Secret to how to get the most from JK's work. It's so easy. Just do what I say to do. No, just jokes. But when we work with what you got to work with and we figure out what you're gonna do and how you're gonna do it, you go do it. It's like, that's the important part is taking action. Um, Christina said, I just watched it. Well done, Westy, Wendy. Oh my God, I'm so happy because it's really cool. And I've got the camping hair situation going on here. So what do we wanna say? Oh, and then, so there's this amazing testimony. So feel free, anybody who wants to review one of my courses or, Pop a testimonial up. I've got my assistant taking it upon herself to make them all pretty if you want to get featured on my page and things like that. But also if you wanted to share the love, you're gonna get um you're gonna get like um it's it's all reciprocity, it's all um retriculation energy, giving, receiving. Oh my God, Life Worker starts on Monday. I'm actually gonna be doing two trainings on Monday. I'm writing out those trainings as we speak. They are going to blow your socks off. So get ready. Life Workers, if you are not in Life Workers, like I am continuing to spread the word about Life Workers till the end, till the final hour, but really, I actually love the fast action takers that really get in and get into it because there's already like amazing trainings in there, but we do start Monday and I'm not much of a like, we start Monday and the card is closing. I kind of just be like, okay, I'm done. I'm finished talking about it. And I just like, card's closed, done. Sorry, no warning, whoops a daisies, whoopsies. I'm done talking about it and I'm ready to focus all my energy on the ones that choose to invest and chose to go all in now. So life workers, we start on Monday and the first two modules, culture is the first one, um, are loading in my brain and ready to download into your brain. So I'm so for excited to do that. By the way, have you seen my little necklace? I have had this necklace for ages. It was a really big 
moment for me because it was the first time I spent $200 on a necklace um, on like a little, it's got like some sort of um, stone in it and I haven't had the chain for it. So I found a chain and I'm super excited that I'm wearing said chain. So I bought it yesterday, I bought the chain yesterday. So now I get to wear my beautiful necklace again. And I also bought some more amethyst to add to my amethyst arm. <laughs> Cause it's purple. Right, messenger, selling on the messenger. I also want to put notes, put a pin in this guys. I just said an amazing line, an amazing sentence to a client about selling in, is speaking to what people need and the angle and, and what like a course or whatever you're selling what it how it speaks to what they need and speak to what they need versus speaking from a sales point of view it's speaking to what they need from a service point of view how can this serve you so here's what i do with my messenger you may have noticed i've also had a couple of og big dreamers going i love the messenger launch that you're doing that you have to message me which has actually brought quite a few people that silently stalk me out of the woodworks because they have to message me <laughs> about it which is kind of cool which is amazing which i love um and i've always had this kind of scarcity thing what about if somebody just does not want to message me because there's been times when somebody said you have to message me to get the details to a course and i'm like i'm not going to message them i don't want to look like an idiot i don't want to like message them and then not want it and then have to be like how embarrassed or or just like oh ghost them so i've always refrained from doing it because i'm like but i'm leaving so much money on the table by not actually letting anybody click the link and go and have a look and have a and it's and it's creating an extra step for them to contact me to message me and get the details for the course instead of me as usual up until this launch and up until like mentoring all my mentoring they have to obviously message me that's a no-brainer obviously there's not no link for that you need to message me for details of mentoring however i'd never done it just for a course like you cannot get the link anywhere else. You have got to message me to have a sticky beak or if you want to get dive deep into it. And I've never done a course launch purely on Messenger and I'm purely ridiculously now obsessed with it because it's like this beautiful filtering system because the people that were just tire kickers uh, don't even ask in the first place, which that's great. But the second thing is I've actually had a few people contact me and it's been like, I actually think that the bundle would be more what you're looking for. And they're like, yeah, that's what I know. Or I actually think um, that because they ask, what do you think this is what I need? Or what? the ones that ask, do you think that's what I need? Or is there something else that might suit me better? That has been, they said, is this what I need? Or is something else going to suit me better? So they actually in the messenger for life workers, they have actually opened up to be almost like, is it this or something better? Or is there something, is there something more that I could do? And this is where I'm at. And then I have, after a series of like back and forth, I'm like, this is if you just want life workers specific, here's the details for life workers. But also, here's my three three month um, is one on one mentoring something that you're interested in. And they're like, hell yeah, what's your mentoring? And they're like, oh my god, I'm in. And then the other thing is the bundles. It's it's like yeah, that's what I need. I need the bun. I need the bundle. I need the whole kit and caboodle. And that only came. That was an organic thing that came just because I started to. I opened up the messenger. It was like you message me, and. Um, it's just like, here's the details for life workers. Here's data, but then they're like, is that what I need? Do I need something more? Is there something that I'm missing? And I gave me, it opened up to me to go, okay, what have you got? What's your business? Where you at? And then it opened me up to actually find something else for them that may have been like a full, like completely a full bodied approach if that's what they wanted. I have to say that has been a challenge for me in saying yes. So I'm wondering if there's a nice sweet spot between the both. Okay, so this is the thing. This is the thing, um, do you mean sweet swap be between the both of dropping the link? So A, when I drop a link anywhere on a post, it suddenly reduces the reach. So I never whinge about algorithms. I don't whinge about algorithms. I work with algorithms. And that's what I want you guys to do. As social media nutcrackers, you're gonna have to be nimble. Once you feel like you've got your strategy set, get ready, because you're gonna have to pivot. 
and I noticed that every time I would drop a link, the reach would drop. And so that's all well and good, that's fine, but I'm also stopping that, I'm also making it reduce the reach of a really juicy post. It's reducing the reach of a really juicy post. So it's kind of like, I was like, okay, do I go no link? If the link is somewhere, you're gonna reduce the you have to message me situation. And well, of course, you can, I've always done links. Up until now, there's always been a link available and you can just like drop the link and everybody can um, put the link there. But what I've noticed, this is my first pure launch just on the link. The quality of the, the people that are signing up is worth its weight in gold because they are so committed and dedicated and they will get the results, which in, in turn increases the ratio of results that I'm going to get with this course because only people that I knew were fully committed went all the way with going in. So it wasn't just like go to the link, look at the link, buy the link with no communications from me. And obviously that's an extra level and an extra layer of work for you when you're messaging back and forth. Just, But this is the first time and I really can see the potency, um, the potency of the people that have reached out to me, messaged me and then gone into Life Workers to join us in Life Workers with this launch. I just know they're gonna get amazing results, which is in turn going to not today and not this week and not this month affect my business, but over the year, the butterfly effect is going to be unbelievable because the amount of people, the amount of results per, um, the ratio of results is going to be out of this world. So I just know that that is such a good long-term game. I'm always focused on the long game when I'm focusing on a marketing strategy. Is this marketing strategy is gonna help me in the long term? And what are the long-term butterfly effects? So the link is a well and good strategy that I've used for my whole entire social media creator career over the last four years. Um, I've always just dropping the links. I always be dropping my links, dropping my links. I put a link here and I put a link there and I put a link everywhere. <laughs> I put a link here, I put a link there, I put a link everywhere. I just drop in my links every day. I'll be dropping my links, dropping my links, dropping my links. However, as the algorithm shifted, I just noticed an, a, a significant re reduction in reach for each of the posts. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go full in because I've always gone to go full in with this messenger situation. This is kind of the strategy behind the strategy. And then we're going to talk about like the actual what goes in. So I'm going to give that to you here, now, here and now. I'm going to give you what actually goes into the back and forth. But right now, I just wanted to give you the, the mindset but behind choosing to have a pure messenger launch, message me only, uh, uh, let's call them a message me launch. <laughs> a message me, a pure message me launch. Um, and the mindset behind it, and then I'm gonna get into the strategy of the back and forth, the back and forth strategy. So, flies. Uh, so it's a perfectly valid um, strategy. I've been using it for my whole social media career. Uh, create a career however I wanted to experiment and I, that's my whole job is like experimenting and figuring out is this going to work is this going to be valuable is this going to be a sustainable strategy is this going to feel good is this going to feel really good and every time I've gone to do a pure messenger message me launch I've always bowed out and I've just dropped the link I've kind of dropped the link before I really gave it a chance to to really work and so I've always kind of like put the link on my Instagram or put the link on my Facebook page or put the link somewhere so they can find it. Whereas this one, there's literally no way you can find the link to Life Workers unless you message me. And that's been the first time I've done that all the way from the start to the finish of a launch, which is kind of mind blowing to me because I've always bowed out and I'm just like, here's the link, here's the link, here's the link, here's the link. But what I've noticed is A, the power, like the powerfulness and the potency B, the richness, like the richness of the people that have signed up is going to help me to get more results. My ratio of results is going to be epic. Oh, Swapna! Love this topic. I'm so happy. Um, so that's A and B. So A is the potency of the people that have reached out to message me and bought it. The potency and the powerfulness. Um, 
has been amazing. The, the, the conversations I've had have been a privilege. I've loved it. B, I'm going to increase the ratio of results because of the, the richness of the women that have joined because I can just see it's just a filtering process. The people that reach out, they're really all in, right? They're all in and they're ready to go. And I know you guys, all the life workers that are in there, they're really gonna, they're just like chomping at the bit. They can't even wait till Monday till I drop these first um, modules. And luckily it's a lightning round and you're gonna get everything in three weeks because they're just like chomping at the bit. Let's, let's do this, let's go, which I love because it's not gonna be this long drawn out process. It's gonna be like bang, 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 bang. Here it is, here's my brain, here's my brain, here's my brain on this, and this is a clear strategy for you to create your six-figure framework for your life's work. There's not gonna be no question of how Jana does it. There's gonna be no question of how I make this happen. I am not some magical, amazing person. I don't even have, some of my clients have this natural virality, like they can go viral naturally. Some of my clients have this natural popularity and they can go, like they're super popular and they're just like, everyone loves them. They're, to me, I feel like, I can't, I don't really see that for myself, but that's probably, maybe that's just like a block situation and just opening you, opening you up to like a block. But I've been going at this game for a long time. And, um, really to me what has been my success is that I keep going and that I keep showing up and I keep serving and I always look for different ways to serve and different angles to articulate things and that has been what has created my success because there's not there's nothing innately in me that has this ability to go viral it is not my natural um, inclination it is not the natural like you know how like Think of Constance, for example, Constance, it's just this natural virality. Um, and then just like, think of like Kayla, Kayla is science, just this natural popularity. It's just in her cells. You can't teach that stuff. But then for the, the regular humans among us that don't have that virality naturally in your cells or that popularity, I was not popular at school, by the way. <laughs> and that don't have that this is kind of what's going to work for you but also this works for them as well because it just takes what they've got and the package that they've given and we all have the level of giftedness i think my level of giftedness is i just make people feel really good about themselves and really capable and that's actually my purpose to help you feel capable of your big dreams and so that's why i share so many strategies because sometimes once i know a strategy i'm like oh my god that makes so much sense. I can do it now. I can do it now. And the most powerful words that you can possibly imagine. So, all right. Point. Okay. Christina says, so maybe sharing the link once on one post and then referring back to that Facebook post. Okay. Actually, oh my God. That's so helpful, Chris, um, Christina, because I actually have a strategy around this that I'm going to share with you guys. Um, Wendy said, love the three weeks intensive model. Me too, because I feel like everybody that's in there is just like, yeah, that's the way I want to learn. I want it all and I want it now. I want it all and I want it all at once. As fast as you possibly can before my energy and patience wanes away. Because that's what I know. Like when I go to do a course, I want it all and I want it now. If they drip feed it to me, I'm done after the first two weeks. I'm like, it's too slow. If it's too slow rolled out for me, I'm just like, no lost interest, lost patience. <laughs> um, yeah, I was, Wendy said, yeah, I was the unpopular weird and dorky one. Yeah, I was fully the weird one, always trying to fit in, but never quite in the d nerdy dorky one because I wasn't really smart, the school smarts. I didn't have the school smarts, but I also didn't fit in the popular one. So it was kind of like in between and just like in between and shuffling, but just like bending for my life to fit in. <laughs> Um, Christina said, I wasn't popular at school either, Jana, I was too driven for everyone. Oh my God, that is so cool. I love that. <laughs> I mean, I love that. I was not popular at all. I was the weird, yeah, the weird one that was eccentric, but also trying to fit in. So I had this weird thing that I would say stuff and people were like, that just surprised us because you don't come across as a super weird person, but the things you say are weird. And... I thought it was cool to try and fit in. So that was kind of my thing. But I did try and create the clubs at school and think of biz opportunities. Oh my God, and of course, I love that. Right, what is my point that I was gonna make about, oh my God, okay. So if, if 
for a pure, because we're talking about a pure message me launch right now, I want to give you a hot tip. Do you guys want the hottest tip that I've learned from this launch? This is learning real time, live learning real time. And P.S. This is my draft copy for my course. I do my course drafts free on the Facey books. That's what I do <laughs> because then the second draft is the prep that I do for the course and then the final draft is when I drop the modules because that's why I want to share so much stuff on my free stuff and it's discombobulated and one day we're talking about sales, one day we're talking about marketing. So it's all over the place on purpose but also it's like what am I feeling today, what am I thinking about today. So today I'm thinking about the craft of sales through Messenger and I've got this really cool tip that I'm gonna to add to Life Workers and I'm gonna fully flesh it out so you can fully understand it and it'll be in a cohesive manner and it will be categorized properly in the right module. <laughs> um, here, this is what it is. Wendy says, give me the tip. Giving you the tip right this second. Guess what it is? Create a meaty, sorry vegetarians, a really meaty, <laughs> I'm trying to think of a better word than meaty. Um, a really meaty Facebook Live that is full of service and you really feel like you've spoken, you've spoken exactly the core essence of the course that you're launching. And you really feel like you've spoken and you're speaking to their needs. of Because you wouldn't be creating this course if you didn't feel like people needed it because that is the whole point. We're in the business of metamorphosis, not the business of information. We're in the business of metamorphosis and transformation. So if you are in that, clearly you know that the thing that you are launching is needed on some, some level in some way, shape or form, you know that it's needed. So therefore, if you know that it's needed, which is a pre-qualifier for you choosing to launch a course that wants to channel through you, so that is done. You know that people need it. So how do you speak to how they need it without making them feel like a piece of shit, which most people do in marketing. That's like, that, that's what I was taught as a marketer. You know, you just, you pain point them. You just point, you just like go, oh, there's the soft spot. Bang, jab, jab, jab. <laughs> and you just like jab at their soft spots. I go from the different approach is motivation through desire is what do you need what do you desire what do you want motivation through that versus poking at people's pain points poking at people's pain points doesn't feel good to you it's a valid marketing strategy that i just don't use as a life worker it's not really going to be helpful for your work who agrees you don't need to agree with everything I say. By the way, if that's your kind of marketing, go for gold. And I do feel a lot of people smooth out the surface and they smooth it over a little bit around um, basically instead of calling it what it is, it's it's pain point marketing. It's like, what is the pain point and pushing on that? Like poke it, like a, how do I talk about it without actually teaching the course? Like the way that I've done this launch, this is talking about and speaking to what I'm doing with life workers in a million different ways, in a di million different mediums, on a million different days when I'm in different vibes and, and beating to the, like, and oh my God, PS, put down below songs. It's a, it's a, it's a strategy I want to give you. See this? I am going strategy here, strategy there, spraying strategy, strategies all over the internet like confetti. And then you got to, so basically what you're doing is think of launches. This is easy. How do I talk about it without actually teaching the course? Easy. Think of it like a confetti gun. My Facebook lives are confetti guns. Like, <laughs> there, go catch it. So it's basically like a Facebook live is just, just like nuggets you can chew on all over the place. It's just like, <laughs> they're all over the place. And getting something cohesive from that basically is like, just pretend the confetti gun is over here and I've just sprayed confetti everywhere. You've got to go and pick all those pieces up and sort the yellow pieces of confetti with the red pieces of confetti with the blue pieces of confetti and you need to go and categorize each of them and put it together and kind of like try to put it together yourself. Is that going to take a lot longer trying to do that? That's basically what my Facebook lives and my free Facebook lives are. It's my free, it's, it's front lines funnels. That's what we're talking about also in Life Workers about creating and crafting your frontline funnel. My Facebook lives are that. It's all over the place like confetti. <laughs> and it's almost like good luck 
putting something together with all of that. However, it also means that you are gonna get a shift here and a shift there and a strategy here and a strategy here and a mind flow here and oh my God, that makes so much sense. And then if you, if, if you feel like you want more depth and you want me to talk about that particular subject for an hour about culture or about um, courses for a full hour, you see me talk about one strategy here for like five minutes, but what about an hour workshop on courses? What about an hour workshop on just communication? What about an hour workshop just on content? What about an hour workshop just on conversions? I have splattered strategies and sprayed them all over you right now, but they're discombobulated on purpose, but also not. It's just, this is my first draft. I'm just like, <laughs> and you can just, you can pick them up, but everybody who is getting results from them goes and, and, and buys the courses to go for more depth and width and breadth. However, people that still get a heap of, a heap of, um, a heap of value from the course, um, from my Facebook Live Frontline Funnel will go on to continue to be a really cool valued um, customer, valued community member. And you've got to be actually speaking to the members as well. And they could actually share you around. They may never buy a course. They may never get the depth and the breadth and the width from buying a course, but they're going to be a valued community member. They're going to be a valued customer. They're going to be a valued person in your community so you got to speak to them and speak to also the people that are going to go all in because not everybody is going to go all in with the thing okay so i think that helps right so my strategy before we talk about thongs songs hi everybody thank you so much for being here i hope you're enjoying this okay this is all about message me marketing how message me marketing oh my god that's the strategy guys hashtag that message me marketing see this is my first draft for the course <laughs> Right, I do anticipation really well accidentally. It's because I lose track of the story. So it's like actually the best thing ever because it's like anticipation, anticipation, anticipation to the point that I said I was gonna make. What I do is a really meaty Facebook Live and then when I know that I've really spoken to what they need and when I really feel like that was on point like my sales messaging and that was on point and I was serving and it feels solid and it feels like I streamed substance clients messaging me <laughs> and I was streaming substance and it was like so it felt really fluid and it felt really fun and it felt like on point and I was like in the zone and in the flow and I want to actually um, distribute that further you use that as the link because guess what? You may have seen me sharing fugly Facebook links lately and probably thinking, what has gone on with her head? That is so fugly, make it into a bit.ly link so it's nice and neat and really pretty. Don't do that. Don't do that. You know why? Because I love bit.ly links. Bit.ly links are like life because it makes a beautiful link out of something discombobulated and a fugly Facebook link. Facebook links. Facebook, if you're listening, your links are fugly. Could you really, you need to stop making your links so fugly. It's really, it's really triggering my OCD. <laughs> However, I noticed this huge thing. When I share in a post about life workers, so for example, life workers, instead of as much as it pains me so much and my selling brain wants to just sell it and just be like, go to the link, go to the link, go to the link, and just wants to go, here's the link, here's the link, here's the link, and just wants to like, life workers, six figure framework, for your life's work, it's freaking amazing, it's nine modules, over three weeks, da 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 da, -da. here's the link, drop the link. No, drop the link, fugly Facebook link to your favorite Facebook Live that you've done on your frontline funnels please somebody tell my assistant to copy and paste this situation that was the best sentence i've ever said <laughs> that was really good i liked that i think that makes a lot of sense so i actually in it as much as it pains me because i'm a call to action girl and i just want them to go straight to the link and just buy it i'm looking for long-term value what if if I dropped the link and somebody's like, eh, that's just a sales post, got nothing, but no value. What if they read it and go, hmm, 
I'm interested in watching her free Facebook Live about social media serving sessions. It looks, this looks cool. Goes and watches it, steals a silent stalker, which is totally fine, and silent stalks the shit out of me, totally good. And then eventually they come out of the woodwork because where else can you be when you're getting so much value and being like, oh my God, this is amazing. You're going to get you know, the energy of reciprocity when you get in there and engage and interact and you know that you're going to get so much more. But they have to make sure they've kind of got to know me before they're kind of like, okay, I'm in, I'm part of your community. Okay, what are we doing here? This is so fun. So sharing a fugly Facebook link to a Facebook Live has been one of the most amazing strategies that I've created in this launch. Real-time learning, that's what I do for you guys. And I'm so impressed at the results that that has got. Not for short-term results, but long-term. I know the long-term value is people that are going to those links are going over to the Facebook Live, getting more of a clue about what I do and and the 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 like the substance of it, and going to that Facebook Live, getting served by that Facebook Live that I know is good, and then having them in the community, having them in the like the, the periphery and being like, okay, okay, I kind of get this. So that strategy has been epic as part of the message me marketing. Okay, now we shall go into how to do the to and fro. Does that all make sense? Do you like that little strategy? I actually, instead of just going and sharing over, what I've noticed is just sharing over a Facebook Live I'll do that when it's absolutely epic, like like that. this is really good, you need to go watch this. However, I haven't found it as valuable as doing a standalone post around the thing and calling people to go and watch a free Facebook Live. Not go and click a link to go buy something, but click a link to go and buy. Because if I can get them to watch the Facebook Live, Usually that can get them over the, that can get a really high percentage over the line to message me and see what the fuss is all about and that's that's that strategy. So let's pivot guys, let's pivot to talking about the back and forth. Whew, I feel like that was a whole Facebook live in and of itself. I feel like this is a brand new Facebook live. But I want to give you a bit of the um it's almost like okay, the way that I message is let's go straight for it backwards in coming forwards i literally as much as i just want to go here's a link i hold back as much as i can until they literally ask for it they go okay give me the link so i'm like if you want detail sometimes every time that i've kind of gone straight for it if they've just gone can i get some more details and i just give them the details and give them the link it's like ghost however when i'm just like Sort of, and I don't copy and paste. Now, this is actually a lot of times I've noticed a lot of people do this. A lot of people um, have a copy and paste response when you reach out. I don't do that. I do actual personalize. I personalize them. Listening while I'm decuddling is decluttering. Wendy is listening to you, to me, while decluttering. It is great productivity. I remember when we used to have a house and I used to do that. I used to listen to podcasts and Facebook Lives as I was cleaning the house. It was the only way I would clean the house as if I was learning at the same time. So I totally get it. Um, so what I've noticed is I, A, B or C or one or two or three, I always personalize every message for each and every um, person that, mes that messages me and reaches out. Every single um exchange is personalized there's no copy and paste so even to the point where i have to go well life workers is a six-figure framework for your life's work it's like nine week it's nine modules done over three weeks it's it's this price and this is the weekly payment and this is um i'll, I'll play it by ear every single message response is different it's not the same ever it's never the same it's personalized in a sense that i just vibe it out I vibe it out and that is I, I guess something that's hard to teach but I actually feel like everybody that's a life worker has that level of guidance especially around the sales process I think you can there is so much intuition that goes into the sales process 
as a life worker, if you are creating a living doing what you love, you love, there's going to be obviously an element of really intuitively and really instinctively and really just going with your gut and tuning in and vibing with it and using the response that naturally comes to you. So say for example, somebody comes up to me in the street and goes, what do you do? I don't have a copied and paste response. Every response is different. And if somebody comes to you in Messenger as a friend, as a friend, with you, this gives the mindset shift. When a friend messages you, right? And asks you about how is your day? and ask you a question, how was your day or how's your week or how are you going, how's your holiday, right? Do you have a copied and pasted response even though it's an often asked question? No, of course you don't. Communicate with clients and your community and customers as if you would your best friend. Because if you're not doing that, the level of congruence with who you are as a life worker and the connection that you have with your community is going to be lessened and it's gonna be watered down. So how you want to fully be connecting with your community, with your clients, with your customers, speak to them as if they're a best friend and you do not send your best friend a cut and pasted template. It cuts down time, but it cuts down connections. It cuts down time and it cuts down connections if you are sending them a copied and pasted template. And I tell you what, it does not take that long. If I do not have much time, I'll audio people. I'll audio them back and be like, hey, I'm just out and about. I saw your message. I'm so excited. I'll send you some details, uh, a little bit more details later. But like it's not, Life Workers is is a six figure framework for your life's work. As you can see, it's um, nine weeks. It's nine modules done over three weeks. And I'll go into whatever detail comes to me. Whatever I feel like speaking through me to them in that moment without knowing them, most of, sometimes I do, speaking to what I feel like they need or what I feel like I'm most vibing with at that on that day. Because my sales messaging around whatever I'm selling changes day to day. It's never the same. It's never the same. So I think it's really important to actually craft your sale and your messenger. The, the key to message me marketing is which is a thing that I've just literally made up today um, as a way to frame this strategy is to personalize it and to not is to actually go for more for connection than copy and paste do not copy and paste your responses go for connection so that's kind of like the mindset of the first response the back and forth is kind of a lot of the times my back and forth is when I'm live and alive. Like I'm actually like there and I'm messaging them on the spot. I'm mess I'm there with the messaging. So sometimes I'll come on and they're on at the same time. They'll message me. I'm like, hey, oh my God, do you want details about life works? Okay. Um, sometimes I will like if I'm back and forth and back and forth and I've got a really good bit that I feel like I wrote to somebody else, I'll sort of like personalize it more to them if I feel like I really liked that bit that I did and I'm not really feeling very creative right now and that feels like that would speak to them, then I'll quite, kind of like craft that and base it off that. But it's really the, and then thirdly, really the energy that I come to it with is the energy that I come with is casual, it's low key, it's it's not um, aggressive, it's not forceful, it's not, it's, it's really like, it's really recognizing that it's it's allowing them to sort of come to me. It's allowing them to um, be really leading it. Me just kind of like answering what they need, um, getting excited. If I'm fully excited, I'll send 50 million different messages. I really don't care. There's one thing though, is I don't, I'm not, what's that word that you call like nonchalant or something? I'm not like that. I'm like really enthusiastically engaged and and a lot of the times the way that I respond did not does not make sense. It wouldn't really make sense for most people because it's really like, "Oh my god, I'm so excited. This would be so cool. This is going to be so cool for you." I'm just like excited and I'm engaged and I'm enthusiastic and the whole process just really feels fun for me. And it's not like I don't kind of look like too cool to school to talk to you. I'm not like that. I'm just like, "I'm all in. I'm all up in your business." And but at the same time, low key and casual. So it's this real duality energy. Um, and I think that's what it's really just to serve them, uh, to serve what they've asked for. So that's what I do. So there you go, guys. I think I'm good. I think we're good with that. 
I'm, oh, I keep rubbing my face because there's seriously a fly situation here and they make your skin feel really itchy. Ah, we are done. Message me marketing. So this is like, that's a whole lot of discombobulated pits and pieces for you guys. That's the whole point. I'm going to synthesize all those in the Life Workers course that starts on Monday. I'm super duper excited. We are going to start. Oh my God. I've also got my three month coaching that is happening now. I'm opened now for my mission three. So make sure you message me about that. That will be going up from price after the next three. Even if you inquired before, the next time you inquire, it will be more because I changed the link. <laughs> I changed the link price. Um, so those are all the things. If you really feel like that's calling you the, the three month working with me, make sure you message me because um, that's where it's at. That really is where it's at. That's where the transformation that I get happens the quickest and that's where the rapid speed happens. That's where the all in happens. That's where the clicks clicks into place faster than ever before. That's where the action happens. That's where the absolutely, that absolute energetic makeover um, goes on. And it's my favorite thing to do. My favorite thing to do is message back and forth with my clients. I also get notifications when my clients Voxer. So I don't actually have one time a day. Um, I've worked with coaches before where it's one time a day that they message. I'm kind of like all over, like I have, I'll get messages through and I that's the only notifications I get. I have no more notifications on my phone except for my clients because they're in my Voxer. That's why I have it in Voxer so that I can get the client notification because I'm just like, when you're in that moment, you want to, ex you're excited or sometimes when you're having a meltdown and you need help, I want to be there as early and quick as I can possibly be. The messenger is really, the messenger coaching is really where the magic happens for me and my clients because the ability to be able to reset and recap and recalibrate every other day is just beyond. Also, when you work one-on-one -on -one with me, you get a year of School of Big Dreams. I know, right? Which is my success model. Last night I had an epiphany. I was like, should I make a Big Dreams course? And then I was like, no, actually School of Big Dreams is the course and it's the success model. Because that's what I do, I'm a Big Dreams coach. It, it goes beyond the scope of business, it goes beyond the scope of branding, it goes beyond the scope of social media marketing, it goes beyond the scope of success and big dreams and achieving your big dreams. It's all of that combined. The most satisfying thing for me is to watch my clients achieve big dreams, like milestones, business milestones, branding breakthroughs, social media um, elevation and engagement, and really being able to navigate all the cycles of success from going from your big dream to your belief, to taking action, to meeting the resistance and overcoming the fears that happen in resistance. Resistance is what happens before you've achieved a big dream or before you've achieved a project or before you've written a book. Resistance is what happens at the start and then you achieve said thing and then you get to reap the rewards and reap the benefits, but then you will, if you are human, come into contact with a thing called sabotage and we all have our personal brand of sabotage and it's being able to have a keen eye to what your sabotage looks like and what your sabotage pattern is and to be able to navigate circumnavigate that pattern and that's all in my broken to blessed book which I've realized P.S. the last bit of success is solidifying that level of success. That's the last phase of the big dream cycle. That's what I coach people through. Above all else, above the branding and the business and the social media stuff, there's this thing called my big dreams cycles, the big dream stages, the stages of your big dreams that you're gonna go through and have somebody to help you circumnavigate them and also go through several stages of your big dreams and be able to get really really know your different patterns and really know those different like patterns that you move through and how your personal brand of sabotage and what your um, personal brand of resistance is and being able to navigate them and being able to see them and that's what you're always going through because business does not exist in a, in a vortex branding does not exist in a vortex it's it's a multi-layered multi-leveled experience and so that's actually so i wanted to talk about that for a second School of Big Dreams is literally, I realized, the, the book that I'm writing, Broken to Blessed, is a really long course. It's like a 12-week course. 
which is hectic and crazy all at once. But I'm going to put, after Life Workers starts on Monday, I'm actually going to start enrolling for School of Big Dreams with, which is $97 a month, but with Mission 3. So I'll be launching Mission 3, opening up Mission 3, which is my three month coaching, which gives you the, which is actually now the only way to get me brand method, the only way to get me brand method, social media nut cracking and life workers until next year is through working with me with mission three and, or any of my longer term coaching, obviously. And you get a year of school of big dreams membership included in that. And that is $97 a month. And that is going to have a 12 week course, the big, the ultimate big dreams course, because that's my success model. School of big dreams is my success model. That's where the success model happens. So I'm super like, it, it all made sense. It all came together. It was like this magical moment last night that I had. I was like, oh my God, it all makes sense. It all came together. I'm so excited. Okay, guys, I really feel like I should go. I'm going to go over to School of Big Dreams and tell them the brand new news that they are going to have a 12 week course <laughs> as the same time that I'm doing, at the same time that I'm doing, um, what's it called? Life Workers. <laughs> so I'm super excited. Maria's just joined us and I really want to actually tell her because she <laughs> was like, she was in School of Big Dreams before and she was like, tell me, tell me, tell me. I just totally surprised him before. Um, Big Dreams Broken to Bless, the book, the course version of that is going to be in School of Big Dreams. I just saw you, yay! We'll stalk you there. Still got more decluttering to go. I love it, I love it. Oh my God, so we're coming to the end of this. But to recap, School of Big Dreams is $97 per month. It is my membership. It is um, going to happen after life workers obviously but it's going to be the broken to blessed book which is basically my success model is going to be a three-week course i mean yeah three-month course that's inside a school of big dreams so that's exciting right <laughs> because i'm writing the book but i want it to be a course and there's three parts of the course there's this okay so there's three parts of the book and there's three parts of the course which means a month each for each of the, the parts of the book. And I really want it to help me to write the book because courses help me to really methodize something. So I was gonna do like a Big Dreams course and then I'm like, no, because School of Big Dreams is my membership and I just feel really good about putting it in there. That I want Big Dreams not to be just a course. I want it to be a membership. I want it to be, it's a commitment, right? So, because big dreams is my major thing. Business is a vehicle vessel tool that helps me to achieve my big dreams in the way that I want to achieve my big dreams. So there's three parts to Broken to Bless the book that I'm writing. It's a big book, so it's taking me like years to write. <laughs> years to live and years to write. But it's a different book than any other book that I've ever written. It's like, it's crazy. But there's a method. There's a method that I've made a success model that I've made, just like the branding model that I've made for me brand method. And I'm really just vibing and jiving with making methods lately. So me brand method is my branding model. Life workers is my business model. Social media not cracking is my social media model. What's missing? Big dreams. So what is my big dreams model? My big dreams model is school of big dreams, the is the success model. So that's where it's gonna go. And it's not going to be just a course, it is a membership. So, which it already is, but it's going to go into its its third year. And I'm super duper stoked. Super duper excited about it. So, oh my God, message me. So we've got mission three, the three month coaching, which is epic, three months, you and me, um, a year with School of Big Dreams, the $97 School of Big Dreams a month, which is like $1,000 at the end of the day, over $1,000. It's 1200 over the year. Obviously, if you pay the year, it's going to be way less. Um, so that's Mission 3. That's what I'm launching at the moment. Mission 3, 
and School of Big Dreams. But also, there's the last couple of days to get into life workers because I'm going to close it off on Monday. So, yay! Those are all the things. I've got lots of things going on. So, oh, P.S. School of Big Dreams. The core course is going to be three parts. The first part is Big Dream Stages. So Big Dreams, Action. I'll, I'll give you the thing. So part one, course one basically, method one, success model part one, <laughs> is about the Big Dreams success cycles. So success stages. I used to call it sweet success system. So it was big dreams, belief. So this is the stages. You start with a big dream. Then you get clear on the big dream. Then you go to belief. Then you build your belief. After you build your belief, you start to take action, sometimes in at the same time, because belief does not happen in a vortex. You have to be taking action to lock in a belief. So then you're taking action, right? And then you go smack bang into resistance. And the ones that win, especially even as a life worker to create your six figure framework for your life work, the resistance you just melt through. You melt through. It's not like it's not painful. It's not like it's not hard. It's not like there's no suffering. There's not like there's no struggle. I help you to circumnavigate that. I don't believe in the idea that there is no struggle. There is no suffering. It's a part of the human experience and we deal with it as it comes through. And negating it or pretending it doesn't exist doesn't help somebody that's in the sinkhole of suffering. Because that's what happens when you're meeting resistance and the stuff that is the most resistance to your soul is usually your life's work. So when people are coming to me and we're doing your life's work, it's when you actually will come and encounter the most resistance, which makes you want to retract. The big dream success cycle, what happens is it helps take this idea of creating your life's work creating your me brand, creating your life's work as six figure framework for your life's work, creating your me brand, your personal branding for thought leaders, creating all this stuff does not happen without going through these big dream stages, without building the big dream. What is the big dream with your business? What is the big dream about the income streams and what you're selling and what you're creating and the vision for it in the future? Then you go into building the belief that's going to match the big dream. So it's raising the belief. So your big dreams become here when you get intimate with them they come here right and then you've got a your belief is probably somewhere around here and you've got to raise it up once you raise it up to be in congruence and to be in sync they're in sync because when it's like this it's no good when your beliefs here and you've got no big dreams to work the belief with well that's not helpful either so when it's like this that's when you're going to be taking action 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 and that's when it's going to be like oh my god i'm so in flow i'm taking action oh my god and it's gonna blow your mind and then you're gonna blow your mind and then you're gonna bang up against resistance like nobody's business. So it's not just about business. It's not just about branding. There is so much more at play here that's going on here. I will teach you the strategies all day long. I will teach the strategies until I'm blue in the face because the strategies help me to take action. It helps me to take cohesive action. But what are you gonna do when resistance shows up? A beautiful, amazing strategy is so good because I believe believe in strategy, I believe in knowing what to do, so you do it, but you're going to meet resistance. So there's a whole other layer going on and we don't want to negate that and we don't want to ignore that and we don't want to dismiss that. The resistance is where you deal with fear. It's the fear of putting yourself out there. There's fear of not being good enough. It's the fear of not being loved. It's the fear of failing. It's the fear or the generic fears, but they are put in front of your face. It doesn't matter how generic they are, they are put right in front of your face. And you only hit those at the really deeper level is when you're really going all out with your real big dreams. If you are not fully in your life's work, you're not going to be meeting resistance in that horrid way that you do when you're going after your life's work and you meet solid hardcore resistance. Who's going to help you? Who's going to help you when you're at that part? Jonna. Jonna's there because I know what it's like to hit resistance and everyone's like, there's no suffering, there's no struggle. La -di da it's amazing. It's ease and grace and flow. Well, that's helpful when you're right smack bang in the middle of resistance and drowning in fear and debilitated in fear. On my best days, I forget resistance is even a thing. On my best days, I don't even believe in resistance. But then when I'm in it, I'm like, okay, what are we going to do? 
So you hit the resistance. The resistance is where character is formed and big dreams are created because if you have the character and the wherewithal and the inner work to melt you through the resistance to get you to the other side of that project, of that book, of that course, of that membership, of that mentorship, of your life's work being turned into a gift that you can pass on and pass forth. When you move through that resistance, you reap the rewards. The rewards are you've created the, and the cathartic art of creating that course or creating that book to capsulate your life's work into a beautiful gift to pass on. And then what you'll notice is if you are not enhancing your skills and going to the elite level of your inner work, of your belief work, you are going to live in the existence of the build your big dream, belief, action, resistance. You are going to live in that stage. There's never going to be this breakthrough from resistance to the results. You are always going to live in round and round a circle. Build your big, big dream, clear on the big dream. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Whoa, big dream, belief, building my belief. Okay, here's a big dream, build up my belief. I believe I can, I know I can, I'm going to, I'm doing it, done. Then you're taking action, boom, boom, boom. I'm taking action, I'm posting posts, I'm launching stuff, I'm writing books, da, 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 da. Bang, resistance. Holy shit, retract, retract, retract. Ding, 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 ding. This is scary. I don't know what to do. This is like leading me into the unknown. I could actually be successful from this. Holy shit, take me back. Stop, 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 slow down, stall, 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 stall. It's just like this whole thing. And then you go all the way back. And so you retract, you retract, you retract, you retract until you're all way away back to the start again. And this big dreams, success stages, happens again and again and again until you get grow so tired of your own shit and you move past the resistance and you use every tool, you use every resource, you use every skill that you've ever known and ever learned to move through that bit and to get to the other side, to get to the results. But don't, it's not over, but wait, it's not over. You get the results, you, you're like, oh yeah, 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 I achieved this thing, I wrote this book get ready sabotage is coming right up your asshole it's gonna just like oh my god it's gonna be on a whole new level of like you thought resistance was bullshit wait till you hit sabotage sabotage is just like it's like kind of like you know those crocodile things that those games that you bang 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 as it pops out as it pops out it's just like you were gonna bang yourself with sticks of your own making because sabotage is when you are dealing with sense of self shit. Resistance is when you deal with your fears. The fears of what if, the fears of the unknown. You haven't achieved the thing yet, so resistance shows up to stop you because you're in fear, you're in fear, you're in fear. Don't go there, we don't know where to go, we don't know what's what, where that path leads. Sabotage is like, holy shit, I'm here. Holy shit, I made 20K this month, holy shit. I made 30k this month. Holy cow, like, oh my god, I've got so many people commenting on my post. Oh my god, I've launched a membership. And people are loving it. And it's just like, shrink, shrink, shrink. You're not big enough for this. You can't do this. You were too small for this. What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? And you don't want success. You don't even like success. You don't even like money. What do you, you don't even care about this. And you start telling yourself these bullshit stories in sabotage and you create this incongruence with your sense of self because you're not ready to shift into the next iteration of your identity. And sabotage shines that into your face so hard, so bright that you cannot not notice it. So your personal brand of sabotage is the biggest clue that I have when I see people in sabotage, which is, and with myself, mood manifesting. My personal mood manifesting when I'm in sabotage is I'm an angry, bitter bitch. I'm such, so angry in sabotage. That's when I'm really pissed off. That's when I'm really angry. I'm trying to sabotage all the efforts that I've ever gone to. Going around the big dreams block so many times, I know that when I'm angry, I'm in sabotage because that is my personal brand of mood manifestation. I'm not actually angry. I embody the emotions of being angry. I make myself angry because that's what I do to manifest myself back down to the default, the default level, the default setting so that I never reach sweet success. The sabotage is in there so you can never 
actually nail success. You never feel fully satiated through your success stages. Money is irrelevant to this feeling of success. The feeling of success means you've moved through and worked through and ad adopted a brand new identity to take you through your next stage, your next big dreams cycle, the next big dream success stages, because every new project you take on is going to have all those big dream success stages happen. The sweet success happens right at the end the results are no different. The results already happened. And then you went on this beautiful sabotage journey, sense of self, feeling like shit, making yourself feel like shit, doing whatever it is your default. I have some clients, their default sabotage is tired. I'm tired. Their default sabotage is saying, oh, I don't even want to work this hard. I'm working too hard. I don't even believe in working hard. And all in all, they were never actually working hard. They're just telling themselves some shitty stories the get and manifest mood manifest them to not make an effort not make an effort and to feel tired to feel exhausted when it's not the actual truth of the matter it's not actually how they feel it's not actually their emotion it is a mood manifestation to go in sync with the sabotage it's it syncs up with the sabotage it's not actually real in sabotage, in resistance, and in any of the other success stages, it can be legitimate. And obviously, you're going to deal with it with the way you would usually meditate. Da, 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 da. There's always things to do. Sabotage, once you move through that and you find, okay, here's my identity, here's the sense of self. This is what I now believe about myself. This is what I believe about how it's going to be for me. This is what I believe it's going to be for me. That is the major question. That is the major answer that I have in sabotage. Once I feel like I've moved through that, nothing external changed except my perception of I'm in sweet success because the results happened all the way back there. It could have been months ago that the results of that big dream happened. Sweet success is when you feel it settle into your soul when you feel it settle into your spirit, sweet success. I am now, right now, settled in the sweet success of paying cash, 65K, we got it for 58 cash, from JK International, from my company, paying for our caravan in cash, not from a sale of a house, not from my life save through cash from my business, which was a major accomplishment for me, which was a major achieving a big dream that I had years ago to buy a brand new caravan in cash to do our travelers around Australia in luxury. I am just now, we did that in January. The rewards were in January. The sabotage went on in January, February, March, April, May is when I hit sweet success. I allowed myself to soak up the success of that big dream, to soak it up, to have that new identity, to adopt that new identity. This is what it means for me to let myself enjoy this, to let myself enjoy this big dream that I've created for myself. It took me four months and I'm a seasoned big dreamer. So I can't imagine how many so this, can you imagine how many different big dreams we've got going on and how many, like we can be in big dreams and belief and resistance and sabotage and sweet success and rewards and action all at once with multi levels of big dreams. Multiple big dreams happening at once means you are not going to know if you're up or you're down and you're not going to know, but it's the big one, it's the biggest one and that is going to be the most obvious. And so you will hit sweet success. May is when I hit sweet success. I allowed myself to fully, completely lock in. I've achieved that big dream. That happened. This is just who I am now. I did that and really soaked that up. So, okay. Wow, that did not, I did not know I was gonna rant on about all that. <laughs> Oh my God, that was a really great Facebook Live. I hope you enjoyed that. I think that second part was absolutely powerful. Whew. Okay, guys, we start life workers on Monday. <laughs> and then we go into School of Big Dreams situation. Wow, okay. That was so good. You can tell I've got a lot. And I just literally talked about what part one. That's part one. I'm not going to go into part one, part two, and part three of the book. That's part one. 
it's a method. It is a modality. It is my success model. Because big dreams don't happen in a vortex and I know whatever stage you're in. That's why I get my clients to stream of consciousness me because then I get to know what stage of the success cycle they are in. Okay, guys. Whoa. That was great. Thank you so much for being here. Letting me share all that with you. Letting it all out. Yay, yeah, yeah. And just celebrating publicly with you that I'm fully, completely, deeply, totally owning that I bought our brand new caravan in cash from my company. And I fully am owning that now and letting myself really soak that in five months later. <laughs> Patience. I hope you guys have the best day ever growing into your big dreams. I hope this has helped you in some level, some way, shape or form. And feel free to do a review of any of the courses that you've done with me, <laughs> like the Wendy the Jasper has been doing, which has been amazing. Or send me a testimonial because my assistant is being amazing and writing them out and let me tag you in. I'd be so happy to do that, obviously. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you all guys. I'll see you guys on Monday for Life's Workers. I will probably be going live over the weekend. And if you're in School of Big Dreams, I'll see you in there because I'm going to announce what the situation is for all of them. Oh my God, this is going to be so fun. Chief Big Dreamer of the internet is out. <laughs>